ow, 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 ow. A Vandegraaff generator is a popular tool for talking about electrostatics. With the triboelectric effect, this belt is able to continuously deposit charges on this upper sphere, so you can develop potentials in excess of 100,000 volts. There are a lot of fun things you can do with that sort of potential. The simplest and most obvious would be making sparks. By taking as much charge as possible onto my own body, it's going to try and spread out as much as possible. At great risk to myself, this means that my individual hair fibers are going to attempt to drive themselves away from each other. My hair is actually too heavy to do this. so. I've got this here wig to help us. This is called an electric whirl. It's got three pointy ends. Conductors like to maintain an equipotential surface. That requires higher charge densities where the radius of curvature is smaller, which is to say where it's pointier. Of course, at extreme voltages, the density is so high that the charges eject themselves off the surface, which pushes the surface in the other direction. Here's a bunch of pie tins. This ball is on a flexible stick, so it can be electrically attracted to the large sphere before being repelled, and it'll bounce back and forth. This is called Volta's hailstorm. This bottom plate is connected to the bottom of the Van de Graaff, so it's going to be negatively charged. The top plate is connected to the top, and what's going to happen is these pebbles are going to be attracted to the top, gain that charge, be attracted to the bottom, deposit that charge, and they'll keep shooting back and forth. This is another demo in the same vein as Franklin's storm detector. And this is a somewhat messier version of Volta's Hailstorm, in which I use my hand and some confetti. There's a little plastic ball in between these two plates. If the top plate becomes positively charged and the bottom plate becomes negatively charged, those charges are going to mildly rub off on this ball. The negatively charged bottom of the ball will be attracted to the top plate. The positively charged top of the ball will be attracted to the bottom plate, where they'll exchange charges and it'll want to keep rolling. Here we have a little discharge chamber, with the top floating near the sphere of the Van de Graaff, and the bottom floating near the grounding cage. 